Processor value unit, or PVU subcapacity, is a licensing model that allows for considerable savings in virtualized environments when compared to PVU full capacity. When your company purchases IBM subcapacity software, it agrees to creating quarterly reports of PVU utilization. Creating such reports manually is hardly possible due to the dynamics of most infrastructures. That's why IBM provides a free application to help you with the task. The application is called License Metric Tool and is mandatory for reporting PVU subcapacity. However, it can be used to inventory the entire non-containerized IBM software. It also measures utilization of license metrics other than PVU, such as virtual processor core or installed instances. Regardless of your use case, License Metric Tool always remains free of charge. The core of the License Metric Tool infrastructure consists of a server that can be installed on Linux or Windows and a scanning component. To fulfill the subcapacity licensing terms, deploy the scanning component on computers on which the PPU subcapacity software is installed. To take full advantage of License Metric Tool, deploy the scanning component on all computers on which IBM software is installed. Once the scanning component is deployed, it runs scans that discover IBM software. Then, License Metric Tool applies an internal logic to suggest default assignment of the discovered components to products. Because a single component can belong to a number of products, the default assignment might not always reflect your purchases. For example, IBM Web3 Application Server can be a component of IBM Web3 Application Server Network Deployment or IBM Web3 Application Server Family Edition. It might happen that in your environment, the IBM Web3 Application Server component is wrongly assigned to IBM Web3 Application Server Family Edition. In such case, reassign the component from the default product suggested by License Metric Tool to the one that your company actually purchased to ensure that PVU utilization is correctly calculated. Once you review the defaults suggested by License Metric Tool and adjust them where necessary, create a report of PVU utilization, the audit snapshot. Create the snapshot at least once per quarter and store it for at least two years. You do not need to send the report to IBM. It is necessary if an IBM audit occurs. Upgrade policy. License metric tool is developed in the continuous delivery model. It means that all enhancements, defects and vulnerabilities are addressed in the latest application update that is usually released at the end of every quarter. To comply with subcapacity licensing terms and to take full advantage of the continuous delivery model, promptly upgrade License Metric Tool to the latest application update. To keep up to date with information about License Metric Tool and receive email notifications about new application updates, subscribe to My Notifications. Resources Although License Metric Tool is a free application, it comes with a set of materials to get you going online documentation videos, and regular support as in case of other IBM software. Containerized software License Metric Tool can be used only for reporting PV utilization by non-containerized products. To report the utilization of license metrics by containerized products, use a separate application called the License Service. Here's the takeaway. 1. PVU subcapacity allows for considerable savings in virtualized environments when compared to PVU full capacity. 2. IBM License Metric Tool is a free but mandatory application for reporting PVU subcapacity of non-containerized IBM software. However, it can be used to inventory all non-containerized IBM software and to measure utilization of a variety of other license metrics. 3. License Metric Tool discovers IBM software that is installed in your infrastructure and applies its internal logic to propose default assignment of the discovered components to products. 4. The default assignment might require adjusting to fully reflect your purchases. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out the links below.